Howdy ho, and uh, Shabbat Shalom. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I uh, discussed in uh, audio form the movies of January of 1994. Um, so I figured I might as well review them in video form briefly as we're now into February of 1994. Um, you got holdovers going into February of 94 that were in January from movies like Intersection, with Richard Gere, Lolita Davidovich, and um, several others, uh, Sharon Stone. She didn't have as big of a part as was led to be in the trailers. Uh, I saw that movie in Laverne. I didn't really enjoy it too well. Um, so all these different holdovers, Iron Will, uh, a couple other uh, films. And then in February, um, Basically, the hit of the month was uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. That came out February 4th, um, 1994, on my 13th birthday. Uh, that movie opened to a tremendous amount and uh, set up Jim Carrey's uh, beginning part of his career, um, you know, as a starring... It you know, wasn't his first starring role necessarily, but it was his first one that succeeded. Um, and then he had a string of really big success after that. A movie called Gunman that I've never heard of um, came out in limited release that same day. Also, I'll Do Anything, um, a musical by James L. Brooks with Albert Brooks, I believe, in it too, and uh, Nick Nolte. It's been many years since I've seen it all the way through, but uh, I remember really liking it about an hour or so into it once, and then just thinking, oh man, this is getting really annoying. Um, so it was overwrought and delayed over a year, so never a good uh, combination, and it didn't yield all the awards that I thought it would. It ended up coming out in February of that year, uh, rather than the December of the year before as it was intended. A really underrated comedy that I think I have an interview from with Stephen Tobolowski with uh, from the, my channel. I personally interviewed him, so a lot of the cool things about doing these interviews sometimes is I don't really even have to um, put them out there. They're more for me to have interacted with these individuals and learn something from them. Uh, Stephen Tobolowski, one of my favorite character actors, does a good job in My Father the Hero. But obviously Gerard Depardieu, just one of the best comic performances in recent years. Um, a very underrated movie. Katherine Heigl's in it as a teenager. And uh, Lauren Hutton. Uh, brief performance by her. And also Emma Thompson in kind of a uh, surprise cameo, I guess you would say. Uh, a lot of other good character actors in it. Everyone fills their roles really well. Um, so every movie I'm talking about just gets ran over by Ace Ventura and Mrs. Doubtfire and all the old holdovers from 1993. Um, and then so like My Father the Hero just gets ran over. And then you got a movie like Romeo is Bleeding. It opens at number 15 on February 4th. I went and saw that at the Upland 8 on February 5th, I believe. And uh, Romeo is Bleeding is a DVD I could put on right now and just find hours of entertainment in it. Uh, with Gary Oldman, Juliette Lewis, um, Lena Olin, uh, Annabella Sciorra, I believe, um, among many others, basically a who's who of uh, talented actors of that era. So the Romeo is Bleeding did nothing theatrically, a uh, film by Peter Medak, and um, I own it on DVD, I believe it did yeah, I could check the weeks later, but it only opened at 1.5 million. 4,300 per theater, though. That's not bad at all. Um, okay, so after Romeo is Bleeding, we go February 11th is Blank Check. Movie I saw at the Terra Vista um, with a bunch of friends. And it's basically, you know, what if a teenager finds a blank check? or I really forget the whole precept of it all, but I mean, when you think about it, it's when Disney was still making movies like how they were making in the 60s, 70s, and 80s and like, you know, putting little budgets behind these little children or teen-centric movies. Um, 
and it had Karen Duffy and kind of a Home Alone style dynamic going with it. In fact, it was like a rich kid's Home Alone, I guess I would describe it as. Um, the boy from uh, Family Ties in it uh, as the lead. Uh, the Getaway uh, also comes out February 11th. I mean, so by the way, Blank Check gets ran over by Ace Ventura <laughs> as well, uh, as does everything else getting laid forward in its wake. My Father the Hero. Romeo actually holds his own because he's in limited theaters. Um, Getaway just gets its head handed to it. No one wants to see that movie uh, comparatively to the other Warner Brothers release or New Line, uh, Ace Ventura. Uh, Getaway um, was starring Alec Baldwin and uh, Kim Basinger. A lot of people probably don't even know really who those actors are nowadays, but um, they were uh, quite the couple and quite a compelling screen couple. Uh, even though their movies didn't turn out well. Uh, it's not that they don't have chemistry, it's just that the movie's really uh, shallow and not very good, I guess you would say. Um, I like the scenes at the dog track and everything, though. It's kind of interesting. Uh, My Girl 2 comes out February 11th, and that actually holds his own or her own pretty well against Ace Ventura. Um, it opened pretty strong, as I remember, I think in the 20s. So Ace Ventura to or Ace Ventura in its second weekend and My Girl Two really went went at it um, for the number, uh, for, you know, for all the box office dollars that next weekend, um, and then um, Blue Chips actually is the movie I chose to watch um, that weekend and it had uh, you know not maybe the. I liked it, but I didn't really like it all that much when I first saw it. But when now when I watch it, you know, years later, it's the best. It's really one of my favorite movies. Um, you know, the basketball movie starring Nick Nolte. It's by far the best basketball movie. I mean, you got White Man Can't Jump, you got Hoosiers, and you got um, Blue Chips. And that's, you know, there's really no other answer that I could justify. Those are the three best basketball movies I know of. Uh, and I have to think Blue Chips is the best, but I can see how others, you know, like those others as well. I like those others quite a lot as well. I do think Blue Chips is probably the best. Very strong performance by Nick Nolte in it. Um, and everyone involved. Um, my girl, too, Blue Chips. On, on Deadly Ground. On Deadly Ground, uh, a movie I saw when it came out, uh, but I didn't um, enjoy it. I saw it the Virginia Dare, um, but now I enjoy it years later. In fact, I don't own it, and I really wish I did. It, I didn't like the performance of um, Michael Caine back in the day, but I really do like Michael Caine's performance in it. Uh, Reality Bites, which underperforms in theaters. Um, it's Winona Ryder, Ben Stiller, Ethan Hawke. Janine and Garofalo uh, really underperformed in theaters as well, but um, the, one of the more famous soundtracks of all time um, and a very iconic movie, or you know, deserving of uh, watching and appreciating for sure. Um, eight Seconds, may Luke Perry rest in peace. Um, really underrated uh, horse and rodeo movie. Uh, by John Avildsen, the maker of Rocky, and then Sugar Hill, which uh, I'm, I'm just going to go purchase this week. I have fond memories of watching it when it was on cable in the you know 90s and 2000s. And I own Boiling Point. I own some other Wesley Snipes movies from that era, you know. So I hope to maybe get Money Train and uh, Sugar Hill. And round out like my early 90s Wesley Snipes collection. Because I have Passenger 57, Demolition Man, um, White Man Can't Jump, I Need Jungle Fever, and a couple other ones. Like I just mentioned. Uh, so these are the movies of February of 1994. Uh, so definitely the biggest hit of 1994 so far as we're doing this box office study is um, Ace Ventura. And Ace Ventura's numbers, by today's standards, it would be like a $200 million movie, rather than being $30 million hit. 
it would be like a $220 million hit, something like that. So that just goes to show you how things change throughout time and everything like that. Um, so anyway, this is a long video, and hopefully it uploads okay. This was a discussion of February of 1994, and it's box office and movies. Thanks so much. Shabbat Shalom.